Hello guys, welcome back to Dr. Jacks. I'm back with another video. So in this video, I will show you how to remove toolbar while scrolling in your cycle review. So and one more thing, watch the video till end. I will. I am going to tell some important concept in this video which you are not going to find on internet. And maybe you can find, but it will going to take you a lot of time. And why you have to waste time when I am here to teach you how to do these kind of things and uh, believe me this method you can use this method with anything but if you go on internet and try to find out how to remove toolbar while scrolling in recycler view they will tell you to use coordinator layout they will tell you to use app bar layout and then set the layout behavior but that's not the case let us suppose we have a custom toolbar with the using relative layout or anything else so on that time we don't know how to do this so in this video i'm going to clear your every doubt how these things work with the recycler view and after watching this video there will be no doubt and you will going to learn definitely something great so first see a demo what we are going to make so for this i have to open my phone so i open my phone and this is a project i already created this project news app tutorial so if you don't know how to create news app then you can check out my news app tutorial video so you can see it contain a tab layout and on the top it contain a toolbar where i set the title news feed so let us suppose if i swipe in Recy recycle view you can see now the toolbar is get height if i swipe down you can see the toolbar is start appearing so it is your choice whether you want to add an animation before moving out it is completely depend on you so you can see it is working fine every time and in this video we are going to create this and we are going to create this with the just num minimum number of lines we can say in five or six but that lines is very difficult to find out if you try to find out by on so watch the video till end and if you don't like the video then please like the video and please subscribe the channel so now let's start the video and see how to do this so open your android project where you want to implement it and uh, i am i am opening my news app tutorial so i already created the tutorial of this news app so if you don't know how to create news app then check, you can check out that video so now first of all I have to close everything I think and this is our main activity that's it the work of the main activity and the layout file so open your main activity main layout file so you can see here the toolbar is present here so first of all I want to hide this toolbar on the scrolling of recycle view so what we, I can do first of all I have to place this toolbar you can directly hide the toolbar or you can place this in a relative layout so I close this and now I take a relative layout here, set the layout with match parent, height is wrap content and id you can give any id name it is your choice so I simply give the id main toolbar layout and that's it now you have to close this simply cut this toolbar from here control x cut paste the toolbar here now the parent id is main toolbar layout so you have to replace it by toolbar to main toolbar layout that's it. So you can see now this is fine. Now come inside your main activity XML file, declare a variable to access the XML ID into Java ID. So relative layout M main toolbar layout. And then after this, you have to assign the XML ID into Java ID. So main toolbar layout equal find the ID r dot id dot main toolbar layout. That's it now the second important thing you can see this is our activity main and inside activity main the toolbar is present and the tab layout but when recycler view is present inside the tabs so i open any fragment let us suppose i open home fragment so inside home fragment you can see the recycler view is present so now i have to access the main activity variables from our fragment so you will also going to learn how to do this so open your java folder then expand this so this is our home fragment so i have to access my main toolbar variable here from my main activity so how i can do this so first of all you have to declare a variable of main activity type main activity main activity then after this you have to come down and here you have to type here main activity equal main activity get activity that's it now we can access the main activity variables directly from here so now this is the find new function which will help to find the news so below the find new function what i can do i can add a recycler view add on scroll listener so recycler view of home this is the my variable name it is depend on your variable whatever you want to use add on scroll listener then new then capital o, r and press this and you have to implement this two method on scroll state chain on scroll and then ok and just below this you can declare a variable so i am declaring a variable final type final 
this is the something type of array int and i give the variable name state and the new int and the size of this array is 1 so why i declare this variable so i will tell you later so first of all this is the add on scroll listener and it contain two method on scroll state change and on scroll so on scroll will tell you how much you scroll so dx4 horizontal axis and dy4 vertical axis so we are going to use vertical scrolling that's why we need to use dy and if you have a horizontal recycler view then you have to use dx so now i am going to use dy and if the dy is greater than 0 then i mean i am scrolling downward and if i if the dy is less than 0 then i am scrolling upward so hope you understand how to use this now this is on scroll state chain so this contain three type of state you can read on android documentation how these things work so this new state variable will always going to contain three state first state is recycler view is still second state someone is scrolling in recycler view and third one is someone is dragging on recycler view so when i have to hide the toolbar so i have to hide the toolbar only when someone scroll the recycler view and then after remove their finger and it automatically get hide so i have to hide the toolbar in two condition first of all i have to check the dy so if dy is greater than zero then it means i am scrolling so on that case i have to hide the toolbar but there is also one more case I, if user dragging on the recycler view then dy is going to give you plus and minus values simultaneously so you have to just add a lock statement here to see what is going happening here so in dragging case i have to figure out how to solve this so for this we have to use here new state so let us suppose user just scroll and lift his finger then we have to simply hide the recycler view and otherwise we have to show the recycler view if dy less than zero so maybe you are so hope you understand how this thing is going to work so first of all let's simply add a state on state zero what i have to store here new state that's it now come inside here and simply type here if dy greater than zero and after this we have to check one more condition state state zero if state of zero equal equal zero so this method will return int integer type zero one two for three methods so if state is zero then it means user scrolled on recycler view and then then now the recycler view is on hold so or if this is condition or if state of zero equal equal to it means user scrolled on recycler view and now lift its finger and recycler view is keeps on scrolling so on these conditions i have to hide my toolbar otherwise if user dragging on recycler view then i don't need to hide the toolbar and inside this i can type here i can call the function hide toolbar and inside else part what i can do show toolbar that's it now come here and simply create these functions so i can type here private void high toolbar and here private void show toolbar so i give the wrong spelling here so simply add extra l here and also add extra l here so inside this i have to write the function how to hide toolbar or i can say relatively out So now the variable is present here inside our main activity this the variable name is main toolbar layout so i can directly access this so i can type here main activity dot main toolbar layout you can see i am able to access it set visibility on visibility gone if i want to hide then i have to set visibility gone and if i want to show main activity dot main toolbar layout dot set visibility visible so now after this one thing i forget here so inside if part i write this if dy greater than zero and state zero i match all condition but on the case of hide toolbar when i have to hide the toolbar if else so inside else i have to take one more condition if dy less than minus 10 because i don't want to hide toolbar just little bit on scrolling so that's why to avoid the fluctuation fluctuation you have to use this dy less than minus 10 if it is then i have to show the toolbar so now let's check our app whether the app is working or not and if it is working fine then we will end this video and if there is some error present then we will solve that error then we will end this video so for this i have to press on run button and i press on run button it will start building 
and grid lead will build successful in just one minute so now the grid will build successful and it will install the application inside our phone application installed successfully so you can see our hiding and showing of toolbar is working fine and if i am dragging it not nothing happening and if i am scrolling everything is working fine so i hope guys you like this tutorial if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the channel if you have any question just comment down below let me know in comments on which topic you want more videos so thank you see you soon in next amazing video